Are you an adorable Cyclops VTuber? Are you ready to step up your streaming and videos by adding full facial tracking to your model? There's just one problem. Well, stop the pity party. Just because you're a monster doesn't mean you shouldn't have access to nice tracking too. Disclaimer, this video is going over AR kit blend shapes and is meant to be a quick reference assuming you know what you're doing. For more of an idea on how to create a Cyclops VTuber model, you can check out my old video or subscribe to the channel because I have a remake of that video on the docket. Ready? Okay. 3D Cyclops tracking is simple to set up. The basic principle is that blend shapes are additive, meaning that when they play, they overlay each other. So to get your desired effect, each blend shape needs to be half of your target blend shape. So when the two play together, the desired target blend shape plays. Eyeball version 3 has a ball and socket for her eye, but this technique also works for the flat anime style eye. Before you start, you'll want to go ahead and make your blink, look down, look right, look left, look up, eye squinting, and eye wide. You'll want to do this because it makes blend shape creation extremely easy. Uh, for example, to create your blinks, go to your target blend shape key, set it to 0.5, then create new shape from mix twice. Label accordingly to eye blink left and eye blink right. You'll repeat this process for all of the blend shapes that involve the eyes. The only thing that changes are any blend shapes that have to do with the eyes. Your mouth shapes will all stay the same and I will do a quick reference for what my blend shapes look like on eyeball version 3 and give you an idea of what to aim for if you are adding AR kit tracking to your own VTuber model. First we have eye blink left and eye blink right. When played together, they will create your full blink. Then we have eye look down left and eye look down right. When played together, they will create your look down shape. Repeat this for eye look up left and right. This is the tricky part. Your eye look in left is the same shape as eye look out right. Together, when played, they will make your model look to its right. Eye look out left is played with eye look in right for the model to look to its left. Then we have eye squint left and right and eye wide left and right. The brow is optional, however, you will need to create some sort of shape key data for these shapes. Eyeball has a face crease that sort of helps sell her expression and makes the eye a little bit less uncanny valley and unsettling. Again, totally optional for you, but I'll just quickly play what hers look like. It's a little hard to see through the hair though, but use your best judgment when creating your own Cyclops model. And that's it. I hope this helps. Just because you're a monster doesn't mean you don't deserve AR kit tracking. If you have any questions, feel free to leave any comments. I'm happy to answer any questions because I want my fellow monsters to rise up too. But that's all I have for you today. Bye!